Okay, guys, uh, that was the video one. We're on part two of the video. We're on uh, step uh, eight. Yep, step eight. Um, in this one, they want us to edit this text box right here in Word. So we simply right click, or actually we click on the text box, not right click, click on the text box, we go to review, and we see we do not have the command that we're looking for. And that command is um, edit the message story in Word, right? We do not have it here. Um, even if we highlight the words or highlight in the box, we do not have it. So we have to add it, folks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to File. We're gonna go to Options. We're gonna go to Custom Ribbon. And in the review, right, in, actually here we're gonna do all commands just to pull that up. And here in the main tabs, in the review, we're going to add a group. We're gonna press this button here that says New Group. And we are going to click on that new group and rename it editing, okay? We're gonna rename it editing, okay? Then what we're gonna do, so we have this editing group in the review. Um, now we're gonna add the command edit story in Word. So we find it here, we highlight it and we add it. So that was added to editing. We click OK. So now what happens when we go back to Publisher, we have that command, edit story in Word. Right? That's what we're going to do. Okay? That's an important step. Don't panic if you don't have it. Just add the command. So now we're going to, we have the text highlight. We're going to click edit story in Word. It comes up in Word. It wants us to remove and are eligible for prizes, drawings and monthly drawings and prizes. So it wants us to take that, it wants us to delete it, okay? I'm just going to, for, um, for basic um, thoroughness, I'm gonna do a review here, I'm gonna do a spell check. All right, it looks like I have a couple spelled words wrong. You don't have to do this here, but I am. Uh, I'm gonna change that, I'm gonna ignore that. And then once I save this, all right, once I save this document, it is back into, um, it is back into my publisher, all right? So it, it made those corrections for me in publisher, right? So everything's good now. It wants us to do a spell check on the whole document. For that, just make sure you click out of um, any box. So you just click you're not going to double click in a box. You're just going to click on the document. You're going to go to review and you're going to do spell check. Um, and it's going to spell check the whole one. So I'm going to ignore that. Okay. So we just uh, completed the uh, steps eight, which was the edit in Word. Step nine, which was check the spelling. Um, step 10, it wants us to review our entire document. So we're going to, and it says basically to zoom out to whole page view to examine your document. So we're going to go to view, we're going to go to whole page, and we're going to look at our document. This should be very similar to page 55. Um, and if it does not look similar, um, you will need to make it look similar. The only thing that shouldn't be uh, an issue is the color scheme, but everything else should be generally the same. Um, I'm not concerned if you're up or down or have an additional space uh, in there. As long as it's organized and looks uh, somewhat like this or like the uh, the text or the image on page 55, you're doing just great. Um, so step so that's it for step um, step 10 on page 54. On step 11, it says, with your instructor's permission, print the publication. Skip. Step 11, there is no printing. I am not taking a hard copy. You're not going to drive it to me. Um, you're just going to simply save your document. Um, and we'll get to that in a minute. So step 12 basically wants you to go ahead and remove that, that ribbon that we just put in, right? We put in that editing group, right? So it wants us to expand review, right? So we're in main tabs under the custom ribbon. It wants us to highlight that group that we made, and it wants us to delete that group or remove that group. 
and then click OK. So that that's basically step 12 there to uh, to remove that to remove that and step 13. Um, step 14 basically wants us to delete the business information, right? If you remember, um, there is the business information here, right? So all we have to do is go to the insert tab. We're going to go to business information, um, and we're going to edit the business information, and we're going to delete the business information, right? We want to make sure that pet rescue is in that drop-down bar. Once we do that, it is deleted. All right. And that was step 14. Now, basically, all you're doing is saving your saving your publisher. Um, again, save it in this format, underscore name. OK, it should be a publisher file. Make sure that it's publisher um, and not something else like PDF or I want to see it as a publisher file. Um, not a PDF. I don't want it in a Word document. I don't want I want it in, not in PowerPoint as a publisher file. Okay, we're going to save that. Um, so yes, we're going to replace it. And then you simply just take your file, wherever it's saved, in this case, I saved it on the desktop, and you're going to go to your assignment and you're going to upload it into your assignment. Okay, folks, that's it for assignment one. Good luck to you.